Wow, that's sick. What's up, guys? Today I've got my hands on the Guvis G3 Max. Now, I previously reviewed the Guvis Lite S and I thought it was an amazing piece of hardware. Team Guvis has upgraded nearly everything in the new model from the design to the specifications. So this is a brand new home cinema headset, allowing you to experience a cinema-like thousand inch display supporting both 2D and 3D content in IMAX quality. You can also connect your favorite game console or other hardware via HDMI and enjoy any of those on the big screen. Now what's important in this new model is the fact that eye health and comfort were key factors when designing this thing. With multiple certifications including low blue light, SGS low visual fatigue, TUV Rhineland certifications and a few more. Now the G3 Max has a compact and lightweight design weighing only 300 grams. The headband has a new split pressure design which distributes the pressure evenly on your head allowing you to enjoy your content for longer sessions without any discomfort. The part covering your eyes can be flipped upwards at any point and it's also detachable. How convenient is that? Now let's talk tech. We have two high quality micro OLED displays supporting 2.5K resolution per eye. So effectively 5K resolution at 120 Hertz and also giving you a 95% DC IP3 color gamut and a massive 3528 pixels per inch. Now with the G3 Max, you can watch both 2D and 3D content and also play all your favorite console games via HDMI. Now I must clarify, this is not a VR headset or an AR headset. Think of it as a portable 1000 inch display, which you wear on your head and you can connect any HDMI input source, including TV boxes, game consoles, smartphones, and lots more. So imagine connecting this to your PlayStation 5 and playing your favorite PS5 games on a massive 1000 inch display at the PS5's full 4K 120 Hertz resolution. Now quick look at what you get inside the box. Now first of all, you get a rather nice zip up hard case made from a leather like material. You have your paperwork slash quick start guide, a type C to type A cable, a type C to HDMI adapter. You get a short HDMI cable, a type C to type C cable. This is your adjustable rear head strap. This thing here is an optional extra. It's the Guvis G4 media player and it comes with a Bluetooth remote control. So think of this as a portable Android TV box running official ATV. I'll show you how it works a bit later in the video. Now we also have a headband which goes over the forehead and you can see it's well padded inside for comfort. And to put this together, you get the back head strap and you just attach it on each side and then fasten via Velcro. And this is adjustable to the size of your head. And then of course you have your main headset which goes over your eyes. The headset is made from a plastic body with rubberized padding for comfort over your eyes. The headset feels pretty well made and solid, but at the same time quite lightweight. Now, here you have your pupil adjustment dials for left and right. And for optics, Govis has opted for a multiple aspherical lens, giving you more than 70% optical efficiency. And you also have a built-in diopter adjustment. So that means you don't have to wear your prescription glasses. You can just enter your diopter reading left and right eye. So you just adjust it to your reading and the image quality will be as good and clear without you needing to wear your glasses. So that's quite amazing, people. Need to see this feature in VR headsets. A real problem solver right here. And at the top of the headset, we have volume adjustment on the left and brightness adjustment on the right. And there is also a small 3D button, which helps you switch between 2D and 3D content. And under this latch, you will find a Type-C port and there is another Type-C port on the right. Now the headset connects to the headband via a small metal bracket, which is actually on a hinge and it simply clicks into place. The headset is now ready to enjoy. Okay, so first usage scenario. So we've got the headset, I'm plugging in the Type-C port in the side port. The other end goes into the HDMI adapter and we're gonna plug it in where it says Type-C. And on this end, we've got the short HDMI cable. All you're doing is plugging this into the HDMI port, like so. 
that is it. That goes in your pocket and you put the headset on and you'll be able to use this thing. There is a micro SD card slot on the side in case you wanted to share your multimedia and you've got a charging port. So if the battery goes low, you can plug in a charger and that will actually charge the portable media player. Now the headset itself doesn't have an internal battery. It is powered completely from the device that you connect it to. So that is how it works. There is no navigation. There is no OS. There are no system menus to play around with. Everything is controlled from the source unit. Now, in order for me to show you what I'm seeing, I've got a capture card here. So HDMI in on the capture card goes into the D4 media player. And then you plug your headset directly into the HDMI out. We've got a steady light here. It means we are now in action. The reason I've done this extra setup is because when I wear this headset, I want you guys to see what I'm seeing. Here we go. So you should be able to see me and you should be able to see my screen as well. Putting on the headset. I'm scrolling through Android TV OS. Nice big screen. I'm scrolling through the Netflix icons. Very nippy. Remote control is also very responsive. And that is a Bluetooth remote control. Headset feels really light. And I like the fact that I can just flip this up when I'm not watching anything. And one of the best features is the fact that it's removable. So there is a button inside. Press it. Take the whole thing off and go for a walk and leave this on your head. It just looks like you're from the future. So I'm looking at a virtual 1000 inch display. It is very clear. This has to be the clearest image I have ever seen uh, on a headset so far. All right, so I'm in YouTube. I want to play a, a trailer on YouTube. So I'm going to go to search and I'm just going to do a voice search because this is a voice remote. Movie trailers. Voice search works fine. And I'm going to go ahead and play one of these trailers. Let's play Bedtime Stories with Ryan Reynolds. Here we go. You know the best part about stories? You remember them. And I want to tell you. So picture quality, no doubt, is nice. Really nice. Probably the best picture quality I've seen in a headset so far. So you've got some distance between you and the screen. It's not in your face. If I describe the distance to you, if you imagine you're sitting in the cinema and you're sitting in the front row, maybe two rows behind the front row, that is what this feels like. And it's actually not bad. Let me talk about the sound. Now, the speaker sounds appears to be coming from here, and it does give you a slight surround sound effect. Um, so sound quality is good, although it's not the loudest. Um, it's, it's a very personal sound, um, but I think I'd prefer to connect my own Bluetooth earbuds um, directly to the media player. Uh, the meteor's heading straight for us! Really impressed with the picture quality. Very good, very good quality sound. Um, I can just feel the sound traveling. It's almost like Govis's own version of spatial audio. I can see myself watching movies on this, and the thing is not heavy. 300 grams, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Very evenly spaced out, uh, very comfortable on my head. This thing is not weighing me down at all. Um, the straps are really comfortable. Um, yeah, and you can see around my eyes. I'm not getting any redness or anything like that. Okay, so the next thing I've connected is my new Asus ZenBook Pro 14. So I've got my laptop connected, PS4 controller connected to that laptop. You can see what I'm seeing. Wow, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna quickly go to display settings. All right, so you can see the display resolution is 4K. If I just close it, you can see how stunning that looks. That looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna load up a new game first of all, WWE 2K23. All right, here we go. The leader of the bloodline. Here tonight. Growing up in a sports entertainment dynasty, Reigns was never... What's he going to do? And... Oh. The big dog. The big dog. Okay, so next thing I've connected is my Steam Deck. Quick look. Steam Deck connected. Whole bunch of wires. Capture card so you guys can see what I can see. So the game I want to load up is Witcher 3. Sound effects are really good as well. Literally, as I walk to the left, I can hear that fire sparkling on the left. As I turn around, that sound travels to the right. So they've got a good sound system going on. I could have just wished for a bit more volume. That is all I could wish for. So you can connect more or less any HDMI device to this thing. So this headset is basically compatible with any HDMI device. So we tried the Govis D4 media player, but you could connect your own Android TV box or Fire TV stick. Any HDMI game console you want, you can play on this thing. Now you can see no red marks on my face at all. Uh, a very comfortable headset. They've done a great job at designing this one. 
We're not going anywhere until we test PS5 and show you the video output information. So you can see 4K and right at the bottom you can see HDR is supported. Okay, just going to quickly fire up Modern Warfare 2. So just want to confirm in graphic settings, you can see 120 hertz refresh is working. So 4K 120 hertz games are working on the PlayStation 5. Absolutely amazing. Vehicles on the bridge. They're not ours. Okay, quick round of GTA 5, let's go. So there you have it guys, my full overview of the Guvis G3 Max. Now a few things to mention, this is not a VR headset, this is not an AR headset. So VR and AR games cannot be played natively on this device. Furthermore, there is also no OS or system menus to play around with. Now to understand this product better, think of it as a high resolution monitor that you wear on your head. So you have up to 5K 120Hz resolution, supports PS5 gaming 4K 120Hz and achieving an impressive large and sharp image quality with a beautiful 95% DCI-P3 color gamut and very bright micro OLED displays. Sound quality is also great. Volume, however, is on the lower side. So from time to time, I see myself pressing volume up only to discover that it's already on maximum volume. It leaves me slightly underwhelmed. Bluetooth earbuds work really well, but the native speakers could have been a bit louder. Overall, a very comfortable build quality, a very comfortable experience. I watched Avatar 2 on this through Disney+, Plus, the full three-hour movie. After a couple of minutes, I forgot I was wearing a headset, and it actually felt like I'm watching this movie in the cinemas. It's that damn good. Now, I believe you can pick this up for around $7.99 early bird price. Thereafter, price goes up. I will try to get my hands on some discount codes and share them with you guys in the description box as usual. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and sub. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.